The tools that you'll need are a medium flat bladed screwdriver, a small flat bladed screwdriver, a 6mm spanner, a liquid measuring cylinder that can measure 2 to 20 cc's of liquid, a stopwatch and a measuring device such as a steel rule or a gauge. Easy access to the valve is often difficult because of cupboards etc. The electric top should be removed to improve visibility. The electric top is not required to be fitted for the flow rate adjustment procedure. Step 1. Remove the screw holding the electric top cover in place and remove the three electric top mounting screws. This allows the removal of the electric top from the valve. Step 2. The oil should be turned on to the appliance, the oil level in the control should be stable and the cold oil depth in the sleeve burner should have been set in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. The oil control valve should then be set to OR for OFF and the oil feed pipe to the burner should be disconnected at the oil control valve. Next, set the float control knob from OR OFF to high fire setting. Place the measuring cylinder under the control outlet and time over a three minute period. This improves the accuracy of the measurement. Just divide the volume measured over the three minutes by three to get the flow rate per minute. Adjust the high fire rate if necessary. Screw clockwise to reduce the oil rate and anti-clockwise to increase the oil rate. No more of a quarter of a turn should be necessary. Step 3. Turn the valve to low fire, which is the mark on the control next to the OR for OFF, and then check the low fire rate by placing the empty measuring cylinder under the oil control outlet and timing over a 3 minute period. Again, just adjust the low fire screw if necessary, screw clockwise to reduce the oil rate and anti-clockwise to increase the oil rate. No more of a quarter of a turn should be necessary. Step 4. With the knob still set at low fire, use a 6mm spanner to adjust the hexagon nut under the thermostat pin clockwise until it is possible to push the thermostat pin down. Then screw the hexagon nut anti-clockwise, moving the nut upwards very carefully until there is no movement of the thermostat pin. Please ensure not to go past the position where movement of the thermostat pin first stops. Step 5. Refit the electric top onto the oil control valve, ensuring the arm operating pin and the thermostat pin are accurately aligned. Step 6. With the control knob set at high fire and with the electric top de-energised, set the operating arm if necessary. If required, adjust the space between the circlip and the top of the brass bush to between 1.5 and 2 mm. Adjustment is made by screwing the arm tensioning screw in or out. Access to the screw is through the hole in the end of the electric top body. Screwing clockwise reduces the gap and anti-clockwise increases the gap. Now make the electrical connections and refit the electric top cover and the unit will be ready for operation.